cleaning on some parts, moving stuff around. It's raining, so painted those. Got the motor back, painted it red. Don't look too bad. <clears throat> Still pedaling away at stuff, but you know, having to drive that now. All right. <clears throat> Hopefully y'all can see this. Painted the aluminum parts. Aluminum. I was going to, I tried cleaning them and everything, but, you know, unfortunately, <sighs> Old aluminum tends not to be very easily to clean. <clears throat> so I just paint, painted them. But that'll look nicer longer than me cleaning it and polishing it. Because then it'll oxidize over time. and Won't be as shiny anyways. But aluminum parts. Still got to clean some parts. Engine sitting there. That stupid thing collects water. Also paint some black parts. <clears throat> we got a lot more parts. I think the water pump's bad. So I guess I'm going to have to change the water pump. So it looks like... There's the weep hoe. It looks like it might have been leaking over time. So... Which is fucked up. This is cast iron. Which, if I go by my normal rules, everything cast iron gets a certain color. Let's say red, in this case. So everything cast iron would get painted red. Everything steel would get painted black. And everything aluminum is aluminum. And that's usually how I do everything to make, you know, pretty cool looking engines. But, um... The cast iron thing, I don't want that red stuck on a piece of aluminum. That looked weird. So I guess I'm going to paint this aluminum color. Benefit with paint. You can paint it any way you want. That's black. Going to be the manifold. It's cast iron. So by that rule, it would end up red. But I never paint them red. So I'm probably going to get some like cast, cast iron, you know, new cast iron paint and just shoot it. With some high temp header paint. <clears throat> so I painted the pulleys black. A few more things. I guess I'll tell you more in a minute. All right. I got some more parts painted. Got the oil pan, the fan. And then start putting some of it up because I'm fixing to leave. Still got to take these brackets off and paint them black. There's all the aluminums. Some more little black brackets. I was waiting for paint to dry. Just stripped all that purple ass tint off the freaking windows. <clears throat> took the sport emblems off which all this is going to get sanded and everything took the little pin stripe off took all the glue residue and shit that was down there off played around with this fender a little bit it ain't exact but it's closer than it was it's at least not bulged in that's still bent in but that's because of this Ballast panels all bent up. I gotta take it off. It's a little different without the purple tint on it. 
the tent was probably black originally, but sun faded tent. Oh yeah, I took the B2000s off. I ain't sure if I'm gonna start um, actually sanding or not, or if I'm just gonna leave the paint the way it is for right now. Because colder weather's coming and, and all that. Of course, you know, I'm recording this right before Halloween. You know, it's, you know, a few days before Halloween or whatever. So, took the little Mazda of Knoxville off. Took a picture. I might actually have that remade. I ain't sure. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, a little closer on a few things. It most likely will get retinted, but I don't know if I'm going to get it running and driving, and leave this paint for a while, and then fucking screw with doing the body work and stuff while I drive it, or I might start fooling with doing the body work and stuff now. I don't know. Um, I just noticed earlier that this thing has a big-ass floor mat in it. Which seems to be fairly dry rotted. But I was thinking, hell, I could take and cut that up and remake the darn little mud flaps that's underneath there. But as dry rotted as that is, I probably won't do that. Might find another big old thick piece of rubber lock because that's pretty thick shit. If it wasn't so damn dry rotted, I'd use it. I can use it, cut it up, and use it as a throw mat, something that I can throw underneath a car to crawl around underneath. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, Still ain't clean those. Funny thing is that silver, because here's where I sprayed. Right here is factory silver. Right here is spray paint silver. Can you tell the difference? How about if I give you some shade? Very little. You can see a little line there. At least in the camera, I can. Y'all might be able to see a difference better. That's funny that that paint there is almost the right match for this color. Which, this color is pretty much the same color as on the bottom of that one. Which, by cleaning up that stuff, I noticed that that was all one color and then that bottom's been sprayed, which is a dealer thing. They did it. But, uh, yeah. Guess that's all, folks. Bye.